Hey guys, it's Mathel here once again with an update on the Explosive Arrow Starter that I uh, have been playing for the past three days or so pretty non-stop, have put in a good 12, 10, 12 hours of like streaming uh, in those back-to-back -back days and it's been a lot of fun and I've enjoyed the character but there's some good news and some bad news. Let's start with the bad news and that is that it does not feel too great in the end game and uh, we get pretty well fucked. The good news is, everyone else is kind of getting fucked too. Maybe not as hard though, the explosive arrow itself just seems like it scales or really drops off for endgame quite a bit harder than uh, many other things. And the way I've chosen to build it is around the explosion, just the uh, real big initial hit rather than uh, going for an ignite based version and I've heard good things from the ignite based version people saying that they're stacking lots of fuses for the duration um, To get a lot of extra ignite damage and one big explosion and then it explodes and does good ignite damage I haven't personally seen it and I don't know if it's actually true because um, my character is pretty good and he felt pretty good up until about tier 13 and 14 at which point he was getting dicked on by metamorphs. Uh, for the most part this character will still serve as a starter so don't panic about that. I got my character through to level 89 and it did all the way up to tier 16 maps and I could clear maps for the most part just fine and I could kill most bosses with some difficulty because uh, boss life really has actually scaled quite a bit higher but it could do it. The real big problem was the metamorph fights which in some cases were taking absolutely zero damage. I'm talking they weren't ticking down a percent of life either because uh, my damage just wasn't there for the certain fight, they had too many resists or they had a strong life regen aura that I simply couldn't out DPS. And I killed I think almost all of them but maybe a couple of them just could not be done um, but there was still lots of deaths and it was still a very uphill battle whereas the tier 16 guardians the new guardians of the uh, atlas i could still do on this character it just took a bit longer and it was a bit of a dodge game a bit of a mechanics game and there's nothing wrong with that in my opinion uh, I do personally enjoy the fact that things are more tanky and you have to play around them a bit i'm just not enjoying the fact that it feels like uh, it's tankier because of my character at the moment and I'm just not so sold on explosive arrows and game DPS as a single target because something does feel quite a bit wrong there. I've been doing just fine uh, as clear, been running around exploding packs pretty meticulously, huge one shots. This is something like a tier 9 Elder Guardian that Zana still provides as a map. And then spoiler alert, this is one of the new Guardians and uh, I don't remember what tier this was but uh, something in the mid tiers and it was dying pretty quickly too. But uh, for the most part I'm still running around destroying maps no problem and then some of these Guardians have been absolutely no issue as well but once they get into the higher life regions and once once we get into the real tough metamorphs, something just feels incredibly wrong. I'm not entirely sure if it's the explosive arrow interaction with Barrage or it, something to do with the fuse limit because it feels like it's potentially something to do with having all of my totems up, using a lot of um, ex extra explosions, uh, and then there's some sort of fuse limit which won't count my really good explosions and some of the damage just won't come through. Something feels kind of wrong or it's just not a good way of scaling. I'm really not sure but ultimately I don't think this is the build for us in the end game. I don't think it's going to work very nicely uh, for the tier 16 stuff and then obviously the awakener fight which I haven't yet seen but I've heard is quite a bit harder than everything I've done anyway. So I'm not really recommending it. This is an example of one of the metamorphs that is just insanely hard for me to fight. I think it was at tier 14 or so and it took me something like two or three minutes of running around to actually kill and that's still fine. It was tough but it was still fine. I've come across some tier 15, 16 metamorphs that were just straight up unkillable and that would straight up kill me almost instantly and it's uh, not something I could ever recommend to you guys to run in and try and do and as well as that this just seems way too tanky especially compared compared to the fact that plenty of people have been saying they've been doing fine with their poison starters, Cobra Lash for example, with their bleed starters and uh, at this point I was just regretting not being Puncture Gladiator. So we did get 
pretty far with the character. It did still take us all the way through to tier 16 maps and do my guardians and bosses, but it's not really something that's going to take you much further. And uh, I couldn't recommend it if you have not yet started it, at least not the way I've built Explosive Arrow. And uh, there is some good news though. I did try and do a bit of a respec into Elemental Hit, and this is a like tier 14 or 15 Metamorph, one of the ones that would be probably way too hard for my character to do. And you can see that Elemental Hit is pretty damn good here still. It will freeze the enemies, it will um, actually lock down the Metamorph, and it's a bit more of a defensive playstyle. Still not the best, but I do think that if you're really struggling on your Explosive Arrow character, a respec into Elemental Hit, which isn't very big at all, it's mostly rejigging three gems or so, and then dropping about 15 passives, is probably the way to go. It's most likely going to get you uh, quite a bit further in that it has less of a delay, so it's got a similar playstyle and almost the exact same scaling, but there's no delay to your explosion. You can freeze things, and I think there is quite a bit more damage to be had uh, throughout this little respec. So it won't be the end of the character. You don't have to throw it away, but quite possibly uh, it's worth moving on. Uh, that said, if you still haven't even come to like tier you know, one maps, if you still haven't gotten to the maps, it's not the end of the world. You will be able to clear things. You can follow my template. It speed clears and it does completely fine from tier one to 10, uh, roughly something like that. And there's no issue there. It doesn't feel like there's any real problem with the character at all. It's only once you get to tier 12 plus that certain fights just start to feel abysmal and uh, you'll probably feel kind of bad. But it might actually just be also that a lot of bosses are pretty buffed, a lot of health is really buffed. This is a tier 16 temple and the life on all of these things seems to be quite substantially higher than it ever used to be. And uh, it might be something that a lot of people are feeling across the board on their builds. But I do think that there's something kind of inherently wrong with the way I've built the single target on this elemental, or sorry, explosive arrow character. So I do still want to show the character off uh, in its completion before I uh, move on to something else. So in its final form, the character did have about 6k life, uh, just a bit over, and uh, a decent amount of damage, I thought. A lot of crit, a lot of crit multi, and it was pretty reliable for what it was going to be doing. Uh, and I was using the totems quite liberally, so I did have five of these explosive arrow totems, and I played around with whether or not you spec out of it and try um, just being pure sort of uh, explosive arrow, because there is you know something to be said for just running around and only explosive arrowing and using the totems as little help. But in the build that I've basically given you guys, I used the totems quite a lot because you had five of them and having five of them down really did help a lot in many situations. And I think that's still the way forward. So you're still probably, if you're playing this build, should be specking down to uh, Panopticon and grabbing uh, Watchtowers. I specced out of that and it just felt worse. So I don't think um, that's the way forward, but I did um, try out plenty of things before benching the character. And uh, I think the Watchtowers sort of thing was uh, the way to go. But uh, overall, we just sort of started to run out of damage. And I think a sixth link would have helped as well, but it wouldn't have helped enough to the point where I went from not doing anything to the bosses to doing plenty. And uh, it just wasn't good enough. But the eventual five link here was explosive arrow, uh, elemental damage with attacks, combustion, GMP, and lesser duration. Lesser duration, of course, just so that we can have uh, the explosions a little bit quicker. And then we'd sub in fire pen uh, when we needed single target and barrage over GMP when we needed single target as well. But like I said, something about barrage with this shit felt kind of off. I'm not sure if there's a fuse limit, if barrage is just lowering our damage way too much. And uh, I still played around with just using hypothermia instead as just a bigger single target. So we're firing off one arrow that's uh, dealing much bigger damage. And sometimes that felt a bit better, but still ultimately not good enough, I don't think. And uh, that was the um, eventual five link there. And hypothermia does work because skitterbots are always chilling enemies. So keep that in mind. And then our totem setup was ballista totem, early damage with attacks, explosive arrow, slow proj, and early focus. Um, because we don't need the ignites at all from the ballista, um, 
ballista explosive arrow. And the rest of the gear ends up going into Star Conjure, tried to get it some good chaos res and some early damage with attacks across the board. Uh, so it was pretty fine tuned gear. I ended up anointing Essence Sap. So that took care of all of my mana in its entirety. Uh, and I dropped the mana flask in the end. It wasn't perfect, but it did allow me to drop the mana flask and put on an Aziri flask, which gave us a bit more damage, or you can use a wise oak. But um, a mana flask still did feel quite a bit better. And that's basically all there is to the character. I did try and get as much um, crit multi as I could. And in the end, like I said, I respect out of um, this stuff for elemental hit. And if you want to copy this build for elemental hit now, uh, all you have to do is take out endless munitions and put in ricochet. Uh, take out the ballista nodes because I don't think they're very useful for the elemental hit version and then pick up some other good stuff. I grabbed these two nodes here. I went over to elemental equilibrium and uh, I think that's about it uh, because we end up alternating with our attack for elemental hit using all three uh, elements and then every single time you pick a new element it should be weak to the previous elements thanks to elemental equilibrium and that's what it will look like roughly you'll be shooting um, just one element going through the motions and getting different um, weaknesses thanks to elemental equilibrium and it feels pretty good but it is kind of disappointing the explosive arrow uh, just didn't hold up like i said people have been saying that the ignite version is better and uh, still does some good stuff but i haven't seen anyone um, say that about the actual end game versions like tier 16 and stuff and that's what i'd be curious to see and uh, i'd like to believe that the explosion for um ignite should be better because it's still a big chunk of additional damage to start with and it's a good starting point for uh, fire damage so surely there should be some good ignite scaling there i just haven't really seen it yet and i uh, don't believe it till i see it uh, as far as the ellie hit combo i think i was running ellie hit inspiration um ellie damage with attacks hypothermia and uh, gmp subbing in slower proj i think for single target if we need um to swap into pure single target so something like that for pure early hit but the gmp feels good having an extra chain feels good you could use pierce instead you can build around early hit a number of ways this is just one quick little jank setup but um it's something you can kind of save your character with but i'm not sure you really should focus on it too much and probably just get a whole new fucking character the bow doesn't really change you're still looking for attack speed crit and uh plus gems ideally you're getting the plus two bow gems but this is what we're stuck with here otherwise and uh it it's all pretty much the same gear for elemental here so all in all um i am kind of sorry to lead you down the path of this starter because uh wasn't ultimately the best one and i think picking any of the others uh, in my starter build video would have actually led to much nicer end game DPS but up until the um, end game it's still going to be okay and get you there but yeah I think Cobra Lash Poison ramping should be a lot nicer for the end game I think the bleed should be a lot nicer and the cast on crit detonate dead I can only imagine what the vile detonate deads are doing to metamorphs because when I was playing that build that shit was just destroying anything uh, but haven't actually really seen any of that from anyone and I'm not really out there looking for it I just imagine some of these builds are gonna be better and I personally am now rolling the bleed gladiator uh, Puncture bow build to give that a test so I can um, See if that's any good and also pass on any of the good news to you guys as well and uh, fix up any builds that need fixing from that starter builds video So that's the next build for me gladiator puncture bow look out for that one uh, Hope you enjoyed this one for what it was worth. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.